Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good day, good wherever the hell you are, wherever you are. Like that's how um, Cipher Sounds and Rosenberg used to start their podcast. Is it? Yeah, they were like wherever you are, whenever you are, or something like that. Was that you as well? I swear you used to do something like that as well. Nah, I used, nah. What? Wherever you are, wherever, wherever you are. Nah, I never said wherever that. Wherever you are, whenever you are, whoever you are. are. Yeah, who <laughs> ain't got a clue? What's going on? Uh, I'm K Kerr. That's Marcus Bronzy. Yo. Um, I just realised he's got a fat wallet, bruv. <laughs> Your wallet is mad big, bruv. What? Hella loyalty cards and stuff in there, isn't it? Like, <laughs> bruv, there's not one place I'm going to where I'm not getting those points, bruv. Body shop? Body shop. <laughs> Holland the Barrow. <laughs> Holland the Barrow. Wicks. <laughs> do you have a Costco card? Yeah, I might do. <laughs> do you? I had a macro card. Yeah, I had a Costco card. I have a, mo- a Costco card, a macro card. You get a bit of money off your petrol, you know? From where? Costco. If you have a Costco card and it's a Costco that has a petrol station, you get a few... A few where a few are Costco's? Because I never see them. You have to go to like retail parks, innit? Yeah, it? you have to go I'm, for a drive. I'm not going to a retail park just to get like cheap petrol. <laughs> it's mad retail parks because there was nothing there before and they just go, here's a bunch of shops. Well, uh, McDonald's. It's like um, Beaconsfield Services. <laughs> By the way, the yeah, best the flipping best, services the in the world, services. right? If, whoever was creating Beaconsfield Services, yeah, mm. give them... A medal. That's right? how we do this. That's that should be the blueprint. Listen, they have a, they've got a pub. The pub. Not that I would frequent it. I think they've got a hotel yeah. there. Yeah. I think they've got, yeah, they got a Nando's. Yeah. They got a Leon. Yeah. They got Starbucks. Yeah. Burritos and that. Burrito. McDonald's. McDonald's. You could almost, almost it's almost it's a night out. Yeah. It's almost a night well, out. If I they think, put a nightclub in there, it's got everything you need. I'm not. I think it's got Pizza Express in it as well. Pizza Express. I think. I think. People from Staines just go there for a day out. It's a good day out. It's a good day out. <laughs> Two and a half hours, like, where are you going? Service station. Service station, yeah. Yeah, Service if they put station. a nightclub in there, if they put a nightclub in there, that's it. It's the whole thing. Like, where are you going tonight? I read Beacons somewhere Field. that um, apparently, like, 12 nightclubs are shutting down every month in this yeah, country. Yeah, man. It's that recession's coming, bruv. You're laughing at my wallet full of loyalty cards. It, I don't think it's just a recession. I just think people don't... I, I, I think part of it is to do with our clip going viral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Right? I it think is. me saying clubbing is dead. Yeah. And you agreeing wholeheartedly. Yeah. And a chemistry between us led for that clip to go viral on loads of social media platforms. And I think nightclub owners looked at it and were like, these guys are right. Let me just close my business. Bro, they watched the clip <clears throat> and just fucking said, we opened the doors. They said, fuck this today. We're not doing it, bro. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know why? Because clubbing's dead. Exactly. And as we said that, those clubs died exactly. on the spot. 100%. Yeah, By man. the way, we, are you verified on Twitter? I'm verified on Twitter, yeah. Are you Twitter blue verified or Twitter? I'm OG. I'm OG <laughs> verified. I'm at, has it started now? I've been away for so a few you, days. So what happened was, initially, they started with the double verified. So Twitter blue was released. Right. And then to distinguish people that were verified before they had an official tag, which was another tick that said what? official on it. And then they reneged on that and were like, do you know what? No, that's stupid. Let's not do it. And then because people were, were buying the blue tick now, innit? it? Okay. But then when you click on it, it will say this person subscribed to Twitter blue. Or if you t- 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 uh, look, click on it on our ones, it yeah. goes, they're notable figures in blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then they got rid of the double verified. And then <laughs> now they brought it back. Yeah, what? Yeah. Because there were so many people going like, so people were setting up like Jesus Christ verified Heavy. Twitter accounts. Yes, internet for and the like, win. T- Tony Blair and George Bush. <laughs> yes. Like accounts going, oh, I'm miss killing Iraqis. And then, oh, shit. That kind of stuff. Yeah. And then it was, there's been so many parody accounts with the blue tick now. Yeah. And then Elon Musk went online and was like, yo, boom. Um, he called it, <laughs> he called a, um, in-person meeting at Twitter. Yeah. And he said, I think he gave them like three hours notice for the meeting. So everybody had to be there. Yeah. And he was 15 minutes late for it. <laughs> but he was basically saying, if you can't make it in, you're going to get sacked. And then he turns up late to the same yeah, meeting. Yeah, yeah, But then um, he told them like Twitter's on the verge of bankruptcy. Is that what he said? Yeah. This is going to make an excellent Netflix show in a few years time, isn't it? This is going to make an excellent I just Netflix want to know, show. Like in, do you remember the Fire Festival documentary? Yes, who's, yes. Who's the guy that's going to be willing to suck? Who's going to suck Twitter? dick for water? That's what I want to know for Twitter. For Twitter. 
<laughs> yeah. It was, it was and gonna, then, you know, we had three hours before the meeting. And I was trying to save the company. And yeah. then, um, somebody suggested sucking Elon's dick. And, you know, yeah. I was the guy. And I was in front of these angel investors and they were there and they had the 44 billion. He's just <laughs> trying to make his money back, isn't it? And I just feel like, you know, when you like something seems like a good idea at the time. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever made a per- What's the most wild purchase that you've made that you've just gone? Oh, man, I regret this as soon as you got it. I will say that with most big purchases that are not like something that is an investment for the future, most big purchases, it feels nice at the time, innit? It's nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially if you're buying something where they sit you down and make you feel nice. Yeah, nice yeah, little yeah. drink, you know, there's presentation and all yeah. that. But really, I think immediately after that, all of all of that emotion is gone, and you start feeling empty. Yeah. Also, immediately. With, with something like Twitter, it's not like tangible, in it. You can't even ho- you can't hold it in yeah, your hands. No, you can't like, wear it on your wrist. There's no like tissue paper. Yeah. Do you know that yeah. fancy tissue paper or like <laughs> you can't get it gift wrapped, and you spent forty four billion on it, and then you just go there and you're like raw. Like people are just calling me a prick, a cunt, yeah. whatever, on my own platform. Yeah. What the fuck? He's like, fuck it. Uh, we'll charge everyone $20. 44 billion, bro. Bill. That's 44 big... billion. <sighs> that it... kind of debt could save a country. Like, that kind of money could turn a country around. I, that I mean, is world changing money. I often think about, like, how much money I'd. I gave £10 to a homeless person today. Okay, well done. Congratulations. Right. And I'm like, I'm not even rich, right? But I was just, I was on my way here. Yeah. I was in a nice giving mood. Yeah, man. Guy came up to me at the lights. Yeah. I checked my wallet. I only had like notes on me. And I was like, do you know what? Fucking have it. Like, yeah. the sky's blue tonight. There I you mean, go. today, innit? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm in a good giving mood, yeah, right? Man. Yeah. And I'm like, if I had 44 billion. 44 billion. Just say that number a few more times so that can resonate. 44 billion, right? I'd just be like, but I hit, hold, hold a grand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like hold hold a grand, hold two. What the fuck? Forty four billion. Yeah. Man. It gets bigger every time I hear that number. I heard oh my god, did you hear as well that the um Rishi Sunak is planning <laughs> one billionaire to another? Here you go. No 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 no. This is completely different. Um they're reducing the amount you need to earn to be taxed forty five P on a 45p um, threshold so like you mm. know we get tax 45% from 150k to 125k well <sighs> taxes have got to be taxed isn't it you get me it's mad though isn't it there's people out there that are struggling but I also know that over the last few years there's been an adjustment to tax the adjustment to taxes has definitely been in favour of those that have been earning a lot more bro. trust me there's been a, a few of the ways things have moved around have meant that um, the rich have been doing alright from their paychecks so, is it yeah so you know obviously listen. Marcus would know right? <laughs> <laughs> I was I was I was writing this um, I was writing down ideas for jokes um, yesterday right? yeah. and I was looking through some of the older ones and it was like I had like a note written in my <laughs> in my um, in my phone and it was like I'm not a Tory but the older I get I get more Tory tendencies oh yeah 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 oh, I've noticed that I've noticed that amongst all of my friends because my friends have started saying like they've gone from like when they were younger where they were like fuck the right fuck the right to now they're like no but if you if you put it into context right they, <laughs> they kind of got a point do you know what I mean like like it kind of got a point, do you know what I mean? And I feel like in 10 years' time, they're going to be like, miss the old fucking days, bring them back. That's what I feel they're going to be like. But um, it's true, you can, because I think as you get more successful and as you have more money, you are sat there in front of people who are like, you're going to have more of your money. <laughs> and some people yeah, yeah, yeah. change when they get money. They Some people change when they get more money. They're like, well, everyone's going to try and take my money. And they start, mm. lo- and they f- people forget the struggle. People forget what it's like when they need money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you have money, do you, do it's very you, different. Do you, do, you, what do, you, do you agree with a saying where like money is the root of all evil? I think money is definitely chilling with some evil tendencies out there, yeah? You think? I think it is. I don't think it's the root of all evil because some people do good with money, but I don't know. It's a weird thing, isn't it? Because back in the day, I would just trade you three of my goats and you would give me some corn, yeah? yeah. And then they invented this thing called money, that we have to do everything with. So it's a weird thing. Well, that's what we, with, well, let, let me, let me, it's twofold, right? So I, I don't think money is the root of all evil. I think money amplifies your soul. It's a microphone for your soul. Yeah, that's yeah, what it's it is. It's a microphone for your soul. So if I got money, 
it it brings out the type of person I truly am. Right? Yes. Like, remember when you first started getting a little bit comfortable with your money, mm. right? Like where you didn't have to worry about yep. um, w- like how you were going to pay the bills. You just knew this month I've got enough money for bills. Yeah. Yeah. So then you had a bit more money for like outrageous purchases and stuff. It can go one or two. I think me and you are very similar in the fact where we wouldn't go out and buy, if we had like 20 bags chilling, we're not just going to go and buy a watch. Nah. Nah, but there are some people out there who are know that, that, burning a hole in if, their yeah, pocket. If they've got 20 grand, yeah. they're going to spend a 20 grand on a watch, yeah. right? Whereas I don't think me and you are like that, right? No. We're, we're like, no, man, like, I, don't, I don't need a watch. Like, I've got an Apple Watch. It's Apple Watch, tell yeah. the time, yeah. Um, and I think that, yeah, there's a lot of people out there that want to show the wealth and whatever, right? And then the other hand, on the other hand, right, the whole idea of a cashless society really scares me. Why does that scare you? Do you know why a cashless society scares me? Why? Electricity gone, you can't pay for shit. <laughs> you think I'm joking? <laughs> Bro, how many times have you been somewhere and they're like, oh, sorry, the card machine's not working, we can't put something through? Finished. And then it's like, well, that's their whole day done. Yeah, finished. Unless you've got cash on you. Who carry what? What? Who carries that? So if you, you think I'm walking around with these old ancient relics, these dirty bits of paper <laughs> and these metal things weighing down my pocket, I've got to take them out and and and, yeah. and, and, and go through them and throw them. At, but nah, but, but not ha- all right. So this is what scares me. Right, one like if there's no electricity or yeah. like if there's a malfunction, yeah. you can't make purchases. Yeah. Two, you can't really give money to the homeless. Yeah. Like, who, what homeless person's walking around with like a power bank and a and a square <laughs> like thing to just like? Bro, I've seen that. You know, to take what I've, to take Apple Pay. I've seen people that will take a tap if they're busking and they're not doing so well. I've seen it. I've seen it, bro. Tap for a pound. Yeah, but it's not tap twice for two pounds. Yeah, it's not really effective is it i think it's different in it like me having to go like let me get my face id and yeah, tap yeah. it and it's not really the same is it yeah. like so that's buskers and homeless yeah. people it's harder to give money to yeah right um and i just think like ever like say sometimes you want to give mm. in private yeah like you don't happy birthday I, i'm i'm really like that as well yeah. like you know when you just yeah, like you don't yeah. i know i mentioned it today but that was just to make a point but like if if you sometimes you just want to give money to someone in private, you don't want them to know about it. Mm. You can't do anything like that. You can't do something nice. But then you know what? Everything I- is monitored. <laughs> Everything <laughs> is fucking monitored, right? And I know it gets rid of a lot of illegal dealings. Yeah. yeah. But then, like, some of it's harmless, in it. Like, where you're like, I just want to surprise someone. There's so- that feeling where, like, you know, when you just. Yeah. Give someone money in an envelope for their birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different kind of feeling in it rather than what are you going to give them now? What do you what? give them? They get a Monzo notification now. Like, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's £35 in your account or like £255 in your account. Yeah. You're like, this is dead, man. But like, it's the one with electricity that really bugs me. Like, just like a card reader malfunction and that's it. Like, that's done. 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 Like, imagine like everything went like where. Imagine everything just went out. Like, there's a blackout. Boom. And, like, you can't make a purchase. If you that, can't buy bread, bruv. If that happens... You can't buy bread, bruv! No bread. If that happened, I would give society 48 hours before absolute carnage happens. See, if... Yeah. The, electricity's just... Like, if well, electricity you, just went now... 48 hours. You're, 48 you're, you're, hours. You're flipping... You're I'm, flipping I'm being too kind, isn't it? Yeah. What you two think hours. In South London, two hours. is Everything is, is getting <laughs> ripped apart, bruv. <laughs> Two hours if there's no end in sight, bro. <laughs> I'm talking. Yeah, if it's open. Twitter ain't working. <laughs> Instagram ain't working. Yeah, people are going to lose their minds. Bro. Bonkers, bonkers. If it if, all went, it would be ridiculous. If it all went, like you don't know. If the internet is down in this country, bro, bro, we saw how bad it. it see how bad it is when one social media platform wobbles. Hundred percent. Or if there's a change to one social media platform, imagine if the we internet. lose it all. The internet goes down. Look when your Wi-Fi goes down at home. How useless problems, do you feel? Problems. You're struggling. How are you going to get on with your it's day? it's not like you can even call... Like, you know if you've got a leak in your house or your yeah. boiler ain't working, you call yeah. a plumber and you're like, at least I know the plumber's going to be like 20 minutes away. Exactly. See, when your internet is down... Done. Who do you call? Who do you call? How do you find out who to call? How do you find out who to call? You don't even yeah. know who to call. You can't even call one... Uh, like... You don't know what to do. Does 118 even exist anymore? <laughs> 
118118. What happened to them, man? Like 118 or 118500. They used to advertise the fuck out of them numbers. Does anybody even call them anymore? Nah, we've got Google now, bro. Yeah, but like, Google put them out down. of business. Oh, yeah, internet's down. I don't know, bro. I, don't, I know so, like, a lot of people don't have house phones anymore. You're finished, no, I bro. I, I haven't had a house phone in years. Really? The only thing we use that little box for is just for internet now, like you said, but no internet. Yeah, so if you've done. Got, I, like, how much of our life, and I don't mean to make this a whole doomsday podcast, but how much of our life relies on the internet and uh, stuff like that really scares me. I'm We're going to way s- too dependent on it. I'm going to say that we need the internet twice as much as we think we do. However much you think, however much you think you need the internet, we need it twice double as that. Much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because when the internet's gone, your day is over. It's finished, bruv. You're finished. How how do you, anything you do requires internet pretty much? Because I'm thinking about it now, right? M- n- sorry, 90% of things that you do require internet, yeah? All right, you don't need the internet to mow the lawn. Well done, mate. You don't need the internet to walk to the local shop. Well done, mate. mate. But to do your job. No, but even even to... Earn money. Even to make even to make a purchase at yep. the store, you need the internet. Because those Eugenico like, yep. card machines, yep. whatever card machines, they're connected to the internet. Boom, so that's already, you can't make purchases. What do you think the world would look like a week after all the internet disappeared? What do you think we'd be looking at? What kind of environment? Bro, bro, listen, yeah? <laughs> what do you do when you don't know how to do something? Google it. Or YouTube tutorial. YouTube, which is Google, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, by Google, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, If you can't do, you don't know shit. Finish. This is why sometimes it makes me laugh, right? I often think about like, what would you do if you went back to medieval times? You know yeah. all this knowledge of what it's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you're like, why don't you just filter it? How do you make a filter, bro? Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. You'd be a wizard. Why don't you get a car? Like, yeah, like, what's well, the how car, do, You don't know how a car works. Nah. You know how to like turn it on and yeah, drive yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in terms of making it or making a vehicle. Yeah. Do you know what I re- You just made me realise, you know who'd be the fucking dog's bollocks, Yeah. If we had a real life scenario where it was post apocalyptic, right? All of those people that are carpenters, yeah, them man can take yeah, wood, yeah, 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 build yeah. a house, shelter, yeah, yeah. fix everything. Electricians. You think though? No, 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 not so much, yeah. Plumbers. No, because where you get the electricity? Exactly. From? Plumbers might need to, you know, get a bit of water from here to there. You see, man, like carpenters. No, but then, yeah? but, then, but then even the plumbers, bruv, like, yeah. this is the thing. They're going to need copper pipes. Who's making copper pipes? Yeah, true. Back that's in the middle, true. That's true. Bro, yeah, it's so flip it. We we are so useless now. <laughs> we as humans are so useless now. Take away the internet, we are useless. Finished. We are useless living things. These little soft bags of meat. Bro, we are the only. Well, part of me, yeah, thinks right. Part of me thinks right, and this is just this is when we go into conspiracy corner. Doom, doom, doom. We are the aliens. Carry on. I'm gonna let you get into this one. We go. are the aliens, right? We are the only living thing on this earth that need clothes. <laughs> you mean we can't survive in this environment without clothes? We cannot. We can't live in nature without clothes. Yeah, like we would like throw somebody on a mountain, no clothes on, dead, finished. Yeah, oh, game over. Yeah, you can't survive in the Antarctic without clothes. Mm. You can't survive in a real hot climate. Finish really because like you're gonna yeah. like the the um the the sun's gonna like burn you off and you've got skin cancer and you're dead. Yeah, like like every animal can survive in their habitat without any rags on them. Yeah, they don't need they don't they don't and also they can just live off the environment. They don't need a, they don't need like a tap for their water. They, nope. can, they don't go find their water. Yeah. they don't need to go to the shops for food. No, nope. sorted. Nope. They don't need toilet paper. When people talk about aliens, <laughs> yeah. we are the aliens. Wow. We've come to an island. I mean, sorry, a, a planet. Yeah. And we've gone like, raw. Okay. <laughs> I like this. This ain't too bad. Yeah, a couple man. changes need to be made. You know yeah. when you've like found a found a fixer upper, a house. <laughs> I reckon that's what, the, like, I reckon, I reckon, I mean, this is speaking okay. of conspiracy, yeah. hypothetical, don't take, I'm not being serious, but. We might need to, but, we might need to knock, yeah, we so, need to knock a few of these walls down in there. No, yeah. so, so we've come to this, we've come to this planet, humans have landed on this planet and gone, boom, all right, too much greenery, but with a bit of vision. Yeah. We can make this work, innit? We can make this, we can make this work. I've got, I've got this idea, right? Stay with me for this new planet that we're on. Stay with me, we've got this idea, right? 
I think I've got something that can help us out. It's not a, it's not a solution. I about put your a, penis away. Put your penis away you're speaking. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Hey, like, I just invented trousers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, these are all right, innit? This could be a solution. It's a bit of a... Uh, well, um, well, we'll stick with this for a little while, I think, right? Okay. It's called Inside, right? So what we're going to do... <laughs> No, yeah. but we have gonna, to build buildings. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make, we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a, you know, like caves. We're gonna build like a cave, but we're gonna have this thing called inside, right? <laughs> and in there, it will be nice. But for you go us. inside the cave, so yeah. we need, so hold on. First, but we make it inside. So yeah. humans, first we have to go inside caves, yeah. Or then we built like these little huts and stuff afterwards and stuff, yeah. But it's like every other animal can just like either live on a branch, yeah. Get live in the water, yeah. go yeah. under some like. Borrow a hole and sleep yeah. in it. You try to borrow a hole and sleep in there. Finished. Bro. No, only we only have one type of human that can do that, and that's bear grills. And let's be honest, no one really wants to live that lifestyle. No, so, no one wants to be like that. So we, uh, it makes sense that we're like, we're not meant to be here. All right. Look at everything that we need to survive. I mean, we and a lot of the thing is we need a lot less than we think we. We have a lot of stuff that we don't need in it. Air bubbles on trainers. Nah. <laughs> I keep saying this. Baseball need, caps. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> just thinking. There's a lot of stuff we don't need. Rings bro. on fingers. Don't, bro, we wear Do stuff we, we don't need. Do we need headphones? We don't even need headphones. Fuck, these, fuck the headphones. We just take these off right now. We don't need it. Yeah, it's mad. It's mad. But you know what, though, is interesting. As humans, now is the time you need to be looking after yourself, right? Now is the time you need to be looking after yourself. Vitamins. Health. Exercise. Drink water, drink things that are good for you, put good things in you. Because, bruv, if these nurses go on strike, it's not a fucking uh, but, game. But listen, listen, listen. The, it's the, not a game, bro. The way the way you're the way you're uh, the way you're doing it, yeah, like the way you're saying it is like two weeks of taking vitamins is going to prevent. Like <laughs> that's why I'm saying. <laughs> The That's why I'm saying to... start now. Yeah, but the nurses are about to go on strike like this week, yes, bro. Yes, but start now because all I'm saying is, yeah, you get sick. If we don't have nurses, you are finished, bro. Yeah, no, like, you well, are finished. honest to God, yeah, everyone's talking. Every- I don't think, like, people understand, right? Like, the way everybody else is striking, right? And, like, like the tube strikes and all of that, yeah, and it's, it's kind of normal. We're like, oh, whatever it is. The other day, like, there was tube strikes and... It was like people got around using cars, Ubers, Addison yeah, Bees, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Took a longer time. Like it took you about two hours to get from Camden to, to South London. But yeah. end of the day, you still got home, right? Yeah. See, without nurses, brother, we Bro. are done for. We are finished. Bro. Make sure you're healthy. In a recession, yeah. make sure you're healthy. Bills are up. Cost of living's up. If your health is not up and these nurses are not around, it is the equivalent of driving a car without oil in it your f- bruv things are not going to work if we have no, no nurses no, nothing look working. after your shit yeah nothing's working look after your shit could you could you listen start doing pilates pilates yoga check yoga check fruit and veg yeah check and don't and don't say don't say you can't afford them nah you, you what do you mean you could, listen it's life or death bro youtube bruv Bru- go on youtube go on yeah. youtube yeah right? you don't need to what is a anything. quinoa yeah. Where can I find quinoa? a quinoa? Is, what is a quinoa? I, I, I believe quinoa is plural. Yeah. What is a what are what is quinoas, bruv? You need to. Um, yeah. What are your top five recession tips? Stay inside. Stay inside. <laughs> stay inside. Stay inside. And one more. Stay inside, bruv. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Yeah. You see, um, if you work somewhere. Yeah. That allows you to work from home. Yeah, stay inside. No, 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 no. What, 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 yeah, is let, me, let me finish what I'm saying, Marcus. <laughs> Good. If you work somewhere that allows you to work from home, you are very lucky. Yeah. However, yeah. be very aware. If they offer you the opportunity to go into the office, take that shit. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, right? You're making yourself indispensable. You're like, this person's working for me, whatever. Because you see the moment things go a little left for all these companies, mm. who are the first people that are going to lay off? The people working from home. Because they're like, I can, if you're still, if you're working from home, I can technically empo- employ anyone from anywhere in the world. So your jobs are going to be shipped off to somewhere like India or China or Singapore or whatever. And you're going to be laid off 
Whereas the people that were going into the office, they were hard workers. They braved it. You sound like a proper old school Tory boss man now, no, isn't I it? Don't, like, like, I don't. Yeah, they're the, in there putting in their nine to five. They're in there doing the work. No, but I'm they're saying, I'm saying, like, I'm just thinking about it logically. Like, if if you're thinking about it from a massive employer's point of view, yeah, and you're going, who 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 am I going to get rid of? You get rid of the people working from home first. If I was a massive employer, I'd be like, you see all of our offices, shut them down. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> let's I, save them costs. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I mean, if like, I, was, I was closed that way, I'd be closing the offices and I'd be shipping off the other jobs. Too. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, we're online only. <laughs> It'd switch to online only so quick. Bro. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, there'll be bare jobs, and you're just seeing like loads of Kurdish representatives. <laughs> <laughs> bare yeah, the jobs have gone to the Middle East. Right? Yes, man. Standard. Just, Hello, my name is Stephanie. <laughs> it's not Stephanie, bruv. <laughs> It's a random Kurdish name. <laughs> so that's so so that's one of your top tips is maybe going to the office. Yeah, what's what's another one of your top five recession tips? Because you know, obviously, we are a a podcast which is here to help people get through this recession with laughter. I mean, good for your health as well. I Laugh and stay inside. I ain't anyway. really got a clue, but I reckon like there's a lot of direct debits that you can cancel apart from the Patreon. Um, yeah. I think I think we give you a lot more entertainment. You find me better value for money than free, our Patreon. Our free quid is better than. Paying three quid for our Patreon is better than paying for um, Netflix or Amazon Prime or Disney Plus or whatever. If you're paying for them, because think about it, yeah, I've got Disney Plus. Mm. I don't think I've watched anything this month on Disney Plus. Really? Mm. So it's just sitting there, eating. Just sitting peace. there in it. Whereas yeah. if you're listening to our Patreon, you're defo listening every week in it. And when you think about it, yeah, whose money, whose pocket is that money going into when you pay that Disney Plus? Now, who's really getting that? You don't know who they are, bro. Yeah, it could no. be a Fuck it, horrible person. They're, they're paying it. To, horrible they're person. They're paying it to pay influencers to turn up yeah, to premieres. Exactly. And do you really want another random influencer? Yeah. Being rich. And for, let's go even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go even <laughs> further. No, let's go even further. I'm with you. <laughs> with you on that, K. Let's go even sure. further and dig ourselves who in. Who do you want? Who do you want to make? Just, who do you want to make rich? I'm just. Us yeah. Or? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm thinking. Bezos has got enough money. Do you really yeah. need Amazon Prime I mean, right now? And, I'm just and, saying. And, and let's cool. be real. Let's be real. Netflix have just released a new tier where there's adverts. <laughs> what was the last thing you watched on Netflix? Really though. Yeah. What did yeah. you last watch on Netflix? I don't even know. What? I don't even know, Rob. I, I watched know. Redeem Team. Oh, Redeem Team. Oh, you know what? I did what? I watched that Killer Sally or whatever it was that about the body. Oh, yeah, you said that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't really watch anything on Netflix. Um, I think the best sort of money I've spent has been YouTube Premium. There you go. There you go. And why is that, Kay? No adverts. There we go. So um, and, and Patreon. Just saying. Patreon. Yeah. You get our content, what? Free. No, 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 no. joking. No, Three, no adverts, uh, no adverts early, early access. access, and bonus content. We've no, come on, yeah, come on. Hit the link in our Patreon. Hit the link in our show description. This Get on that podcast Patreon. has been brought to you by no sponsor. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. All joking aside, yeah. Wait, let me do the ad read. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> no sponsor is the surefire way to. Um, Get brown any day. So if you're looking for a way to, um, you know, have no sponsors, mm -hmm. hit up nosponsors.com. <laughs> Thanks for the ad read, guys. Appreciate it, man. Stay with us. Um, uh, yeah, man. So, yeah, yeah, keep your health up, man. All joking aside, like, I think people, people, these nurses, when they strike, this is going to be a really big deal, man. Uh, also, okay. I can I just like I've I've been away this week like we recorded oh, yeah, earlier this week. You were doing early scooter. You were electric early scooter electric scooter championships. Yeah, ESC. Shout out to to, to the French man who won at home. I know I know you can't diss e scooters. Yeah, yeah. Because you actually enjoy it and you get paid by them. I, however, have no loyalty <laughs> towards e scooter championships. Yeah, but I think it's. I I judge men that use electric scooters in it. It was in my last special. I joked about it. Whatever. Like, I just think, like, when you're seeing men on a scooter, it just looks weird, in it? Or, like, women on a scooter, it just looks weird, in it? Like, I think as a mode of transport, it's a bit of a, like, do you know what I mean? Like, just cycle. You prefer cycling over just, that, yeah? Just cycle, in it. There's electric bikes as well, you yeah, know? Yeah, electric bikes are fine. Yeah. I just think it's, it's it just looks, I don't know, there's just something about somebody just stood like that, like, that just makes me go... <laughs> Well, I'm a big fan of scooters. You know what I mean? Like, until, obviously. Un until until he stops working for them and then he's like, oh, this fucking scooter but, thing, bro. But these scooters that they're rolling on, they're not some little, like, you know, 15 kilometer an hour thing. These things are, like, doing, like, 100 kilometers an hour, 
leaning over. These these lot are like have to even, wear proper levers. Even, they look like friggin' Power Rangers. They look around. like the. I don't know if you ever played Age of Empires. Yeah. <laughs> you know you had a cheat where it's like they, you had like these stormtroopers. Yeah. That, that would shoot up everybody, bro. Yeah. That's what they look like when they do it. But anyway, yeah, you were doing the e-scooter championships. This yeah, week. yeah. So I was, I, I was, I uh, went to France. It was a good five. Shout out to Amar, the guy that won. Um, kicked ass, but um, okay, absolutely. Absolutely success. For, uh, first rant though, right? And I have to be clear. I know there are some people here that have disabilities that I can't see, right? Mm-hmm. And there's reasons why that they might want an exit seat on a plane. Mm-hmm. But if you are under five foot, you sh- by no by no no way, no way should you be sitting in an extra leg room seat. And you know what else you shouldn't be doing, person that was sitting next to me on the plane? You shouldn't be taking up all of the elbow room. And when I sit down, nudge my elbows <laughs> into my own seat. Also, we I, have to share this. Listen, experience. Do, do not get in and do not start nudging elbows with Marcus Bronzy, bro. Have you seen the size of you, bro? Anybody under five foot should not even be trying to physically war you, bro. I don't like aggression or physicalness, but they were like rubbing physicalness, me, yeah? physicalness. They were rubbing up on me, right? And I just had to say, look. We're all in this together. Can you chill out? And also, yeah, to the same person, why are you sp- like man spreading yourself as well? Like, bruv, it's, there's not much space. We've got extra leg room. And this dude's legs were just like spread yeah. right open. You know what? I wasn't very happy. I wasn't very happy with him. He yeah. tried to wake me up halfway through the flight because I was apparently encroaching in his space. I was awake, but I had my eye mask on and I just fucking spread out even more. He was a dickhead. Hated him. Hated him for that. But how can he fight you on a, on a plane, bro? He could not. He could not. He could not. He could not. He was like, excuse me. I was like, nah, nah, nah. I'm done. I spread out. But yeah, I don't. I get very angry when short people are in extra legroom seats. Unless they really need it, that's cool. But if, you're, if you don't and you get one of those seats for no reason, so, you're a dickhead. Because so, so, normal seats are extra legroom for you. Why are you doing that for? Wow. Wow. It is though. That's wow. fine. I'd be fucking chuffed. I would, it'd be great if I could sit on any seat on a plane. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like what, Marseille. second round? Oh no, I do like Marseille and uh, they're lovely people. Yeah. Um, French people. Oh, is that where it was? Yeah, French people are very sexy people. S- since they're when? very sexy. Like, they're, they're just very like, everything's very like, I forget like how French, you know, it's very like, mm, you know, va va voom. It's very like, you know, it's very. Yeah, so it's you're very, saying like, the accent is sexy? Just the accent sexy, like the environment when we were by the beach, it was just, just felt like, you, you know, there was this just whoa, vibe there, bro. Uh, uh-huh. For me, yeah, like there are certain words in, in French that are mad sexy, like boulangerie. What does that mean? Um, boulangerie, I think it means butcher. <laughs> To, to no. yeah. Où est le boulangerie? Oh, where is the where is the butchers? butchers. Oh, like oh my god! How yeah. do you say have a butchers? <laughs> There's even little things like to do. I think je voudrais. Yeah. I want. Ooh. Oh my god! Je voudrais. Je voudrais. Je, je voudrais un stylo. Mm, je t'aime. I would like a pen. Je oh. voudrais un stylo, oh. s'il vous plaît. What, oh. brother? Take my take everything in it. Yeah, man. If a woman saying it in it, je voudrais un stylo, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. Yeah. Oh my days! I also found that they're quite. What's um, the least sexy accent? <sighs> nah, I don't. I don't. I don't even have any interest for neat, least sexy accents. I like the German. Real, I like the German real, accent. You don't, you don't I think don't, German could be sexy? There is no way I'm listening to a German accent and getting turned on. It is, it's just not happening. Hund. <laughs> How? Wunderbar. 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 Auf Wiedersehen. Wunderbar. Auf Wiedersehen. Nah, wunderbar. Oktoberfest. <laughs> I think, I think it's, it's, it's less the accent. It's the person saying it. It's how they say it, right? And it's the mannerisms. You know, like how, um, because it's an inter, like even the scooter. Scheiser. Like, Scheiser. Scheiser. It's, it's like even like the Italian people that were there with us. You know, like they're quite physical people that were riding in front yeah, yeah, of yeah. talking to us. They use their hands. It's, just, it's, it's, it's not what you say and how it sounds. It's also how your body says it as well. French people have got a little vibe about them. Also, I did notice, Kay, random one. So, um, so, lots of outdoor condom dispensaries as well, which leads me to believe lots of safe sex is being made. Yeah, you know, like it's the ones you see, it's, it's being, being made. made. <laughs> yeah, I'm sounding more and more French. It's they're making good sex. Eh? But um, making uh, the good the, sex. Uh, when I, w- I walked to Marseille, mm. I saw a big, big uh, condom dispensary. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for me, they never had size XL. <laughs> so I could not carry out my, uh, my vourdes. See? What I would like to do. 
Ain't got a clue. But yeah, man, they had like loads of condom dispensaries outside. I just was walking what, down like, the street. What, where? Like just like we were walking down the street and I saw a box on the wall and I was like, oh, that's a Durex machine. I ain't seen one of those outside ever. Walk, carried on walking, walked around the corner, saw another one. Then was outside a pharmacy, which I get kind of is where you would expect to see something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. However, in the UK here, I've never seen like a but condom that, machine stuck outside my pharmacy. In toilets in service yeah. stations, which go funky. I always find it weird when I see condom in service stations. Yeah. Condom dispensaries in service station toilets. Yeah. It's like, who is down to M6 going... Do you know what would be great right now? <laughs> yeah. Somewhere that sells condoms because I fancy a shag. Yeah. At fucking, I don't know, like Newport Pagnell Services. <laughs> who, who is doing... Who's six, getting off at yeah. Newport Pagnell Services yeah. going, I fucking want to bone you in this fucking yeah. car park. Who, who's there like after doing three hours on a freaking motorway, just there looking at traffic goes... Fucking hell, you know what? This just makes me so fucking horny. Three lanes of it traffic. Is the, yeah, it is the least <laughs> sexy. And you know what else is mad, right? What? They've got a condom dispensary as you walk in, right? Yeah. And then you go into the you go to the urinal yeah. to take a piss. What's the advert that they have in front in front of you? Three out of five <laughs> men suffer from erectile dysfunction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If that's you, call this number. <laughs> Bare mixed messages. Can you think about us? Do you know what I'm also? Bare mixed messages. Do you know what I'm also? Be, be very, <laughs> yeah. be very strict. It's like you're taking a mick out of the guys with erectile yeah. dysfunction because as they come in, they're like, condom dispensary, you can't use that. Here you go, erectile dysfunction advert, we can help you. And you go back and go, fuck, I still can't use condoms. Do you know what? There's all. I've also seen ads there as well where it's like they're selling some kind of off-brand Viagra as well. Bruv, it's all a mind game. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like either the people going into service stations are one of two people. Yeah. The extremely horny, yes, or the 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 hornless, the hornless, <laughs> and they want everyone. The, the hornless, and they're and they're they're covering all bases, and then randomly you get like Viagra. Mm. Uh, what's it? Yeah, you get like Viagra and condoms, and then the next advert will be, um, are you? Uh, what's it? Erectile dysfunction. Erectile yeah, dysfunction. Yeah. Like, yeah. and then the other one randomly, like <laughs> life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to take a piss. Seen as, seen as you can't provide new life, <laughs> ensure your fucking own. Because it looks like you're not spending a lot more, long, a lot longer on this on this island. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> the least horniest environment ever. But yeah, I I, I find it, that it, it, service stations, right? Big them up in it. But like, I, I always find it funny when they're like, they, they'll have somewhere that has a healthy option and you're like, this is amazing, man. This is mm. catch on. They should do it at all places like Tost. You know that brand Tost? Tost. As soon as I saw Tost in a, in a service station, I was like, this is fucking amazing. This is great. I can have like avocado and eggs and mm. I can get a protein shake and this is brilliant, right? And you're like, this is really going to catch on. Six months later, doesn't exist. <laughs> Because you know who doesn't want to... F- fucking truck drivers a want a fucking Big Mac and fries calories. and a coffee. Give me my calories Do and a coffee. Do not give a shit about, like, fucking quinoa and, and lettuce uh, while, they're, while they're driving around the M6. And clearly, from the signs of, of what's in the service stations, they're fucking horny motherfuckers as well. They want to yeah. be fucking out there. Would yeah. you... Where's the, where's the weirdest place that you've heard somebody getting Sh- it on? Or where you've got it on? I think the weirdest... <laughs> I have, I have a mate. Often like, well, I've got it. <laughs> I have a mate. I'm not going to tell you about that, my friend. But uh, let me tell you, me, Marcus Bronzy, <laughs> I've done a few things in the past that uh, well, I am very proud of. In I would, fact, but uh, I'm not willing to divulge that on a platform such as this that is open source and available to everybody. So, would, ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to find out about my sexual exploits. <laughs> Patreon.com. Patreon.com. Ain't got a clue. I will be telling you the top five places to have sex with the bronzy. <laughs> Check for yourself the bronzy. The bronzinator. Um, I don't call myself that. Mar- it's Marcus Goldie, bro. Goldie. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Um, so, actually, I have a friend of mine that works for a cinema company, and it was a... It was and he a, was shagging in, in, in screen three. So, as you can imagine, there are people that get up to stuff in a little dark room in the cinema. Stuff but it was a lot. It was a two-tier cinema. So, you know the one that's kind of like when you... You know, like when you do the Apollo, yeah, okay? You know that stuff like... Yeah, no yeah. venues like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah like, you know, yeah, 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 you got yeah, a tour, innit? Yeah, you got a tour. I'm doing that. So, you know when you're in the Apollo... You're lacking. Exactly. Get the tickets. Um... And you see the second tier, the seats upstairs. Yeah, the, the, the circle, yeah. What's it called? The circle, yeah? Yeah. So there was someone, the film had finished and people had come out 
and they saw on the cameras uh, that someone was in there. A man was had his missus bent over the balcony and was shagging her, right? So the film was finished and they were just... The film's finished. Everyone's left out and they've gone, it's still, it's before they do clean up, let's have a quick, you know, let's have a bit of fun or whatever, right? I don't know what was going through their mind. So my mate went Joined upstairs, <laughs> no, walked up the stairs really loudly to get to the second tier. And they kept going. Came up and walked, yeah, opened the door, they're banging. He goes, excuse me, can you just, can you not, like, can you leave the venue? It's not appropriate. We'll have to call security if, you know, if you don't, don't yeah, leave yeah, immediately, yeah. right? I was going to escort them out. Uh, and he went, all right, cool, just one second. <sighs> finished off bro literally i went ah oh, cheers and then they just like I, left i judge like, i think that like was that, a, you know? i think it was a thing i think it was a little kink for them and they got it out of the way I, my I mate was just like, like that, but my friend was like was i i was part of that now i was a cuck what? <laughs> i was i was watching that i was part of that moment he said personally he was part of that sexual experience now because he's in the, in the vicinity of them could you get arrested for that i think you could i think you could especially nowadays what, for watching or like no he could... <laughs> <laughs> yeah do it again yeah do it again yeah yeah do it again but this time over a yeah scene. i mean when he showed me the video it was mad you can't just be sh- <laughs> <laughs> you can't just be shagging in like a normal cinema it if you're gonna two, do yeah, it, yeah, yeah. if you're gonna do it, not that I would ever do it, yeah. do it in like an electric cinema, you know, where Ooh, it's got the beds and fancy that, one, or like an Odeon Lux where you can go, <laughs> <laughs> adjust your seat and <laughs> don't just be doing it in a random like, don't do it at like Peckham Plex, yeah, where it's like five pound ticket <laughs> for a film, bro. It's not even a sexy place. Cinema ain't that sexy, is it? Like. Popcorn that smell ain't really that sexy, is it? I don't know, But they man. still have condom dispensaries at some cinema toilets. Really? Yeah. Mixed messages again. Mixed messages again. Sorry, you can't sex during the movie. Mm. However, if it does <laughs> turn you on watching Marvel movies, <laughs> here's some extra ribbed condoms. Yeah. Why don't you let us know, guys? Why don't you let us know, especially our Patreon listeners, let us know where the weirdest place you've had sex is. Um, I don't care, but Marcus seems to like watching videos of people doing that. So. No, I never said send videos. <laughs> send videos to the Patreon. Send videos to the Patreon. Send videos to the Patreon and we might show you a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, and that then, won't be happening. Honestly. And then at uni, I remember we had a night, I used to run club nights at uni and at, at my block, at my at my um, student accommodation. Which was impressive if you didn't know. Yeah, right at the bottom of the block, there was a... Um, a space under the stairs and after one night out we were having like after one of my events we was all having drinks and um two people like snuck off and we thought they'd like gone home but it turned out that they were just shagging under the stairs again like i think young people just they have no self-control man they just want to do it in it and that's well, mad no, for no, me they, that well, is they, mad they, for they me. don't have they don't have places they live they don't have, that's what it is so under the stairs yeah i'm like not sexy that that's like the what was that song? Under the sea, <laughs> under the under the stairs, yeah, under the stairs. Well, they were moving like Harry Potter. Yeah, man. So yeah, that's that's my story. What about UK? Where's the maddest place you've seen someone have sex when you've watched them or had sex yourself? Um, <laughs> I know people talk about toilets. Not sexy as well. Isn't it? That, I find that the most vile, yeah. sort of disgusting. At nightclub toilets, there's like there's like bacteria everywhere, like. Someone's telephone number's been scratched into the wall. Bit of racist abuse. Yeah, man. Like, written yeah. on the walls. Do you know what I mean? And it's yeah. just like, I just... I Kelly, find it Kelly gives head. <laughs> it's written there and, and like, scratched what? off. No, her name's not Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> also stinks of piss and shit. Yeah. I, not I, sexy. I, can I... I mean... I, <sighs> right. So, I get, like, why nightclubs are important. Mm. But I mean, like we said earlier in the thing, like nightclubs are closing the, down, yeah? He's about to shut down the Night, rest night, of the UK. Nightclubs are closing down, yeah? <laughs> yeah I'm like, do we really care? What, if they go? Yeah. Uh, young people love them, though. No, but young people aren't going. That's the issue. Oh, there's a few that love them still in it. God, young, people, young people aren't really going to clubs anymore like they used to. They go to concerts more so. Mm, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. And, and because, do you know what it is, yeah? These lot are so much more focused on socialising online than we ever were. Yeah, it's all about the So up, you yeah. stream on Twitch. Yeah. Do you watch people on Twitch? Sometimes, here and there. I've got a few people that I like to watch on Twitch, but they're a bit different to what you'd expect from a normal Twitch well, mo- like Most of these younger lot, they're watching people stream. Yeah. Religiously. Yes. They're in the comments like, oh my God, so-and-so started a stream. Yeah, man. 
as opposed to watching a TV show or whatever. 100%. They're, wa- they're watching someone stream. Yeah. So that for them is a better idea of a night out or a night in. And they've all got these gaming setups. You know, when I was younger, yeah? Mm. Gaming was so much more simple, right? This is why, like, the older I've got, when I was younger, I was like, how could somebody be bad at video games, innit? Mm. Right? I got older and I was like, and I'm like, oh, that's how you get bad at video <laughs> games, right? Because I'm looking around, yeah? And the shit is hard, right? It Back in the day, buttons A and B, if you were lucky, there was another one, like a C or something, right? Yeah. And it was up, down, left, right. Oh, my God. One start button to stop things, to pause it, if you're lucky. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You didn't need to save the game. What? <laughs> save what? <laughs> save what? Do you know what? You played the game, up, down, whatever, jump, here you go. Classic. Wonderful. There was only a few combinations. As soon as they brought in... Like, even when they brought in the joystick, yeah? Yeah. I was fine. Yeah? Right? You were okay with yeah, that? Yeah, I was okay. You see when they added the other joystick, yeah? yeah? <laughs> I had to clock out. <laughs> you tapped out? I had to clock out. It was not for me, yeah. right? You see what it was like? There was too much to think about. Now, not only am I having to worry about my own motor neuron senses, about moving my own <laughs> neck up and down, now I'm having to worry about... This other joystick, which doesn't control the movement, it controls their fucking neck. Yeah. I was like, I'm finished. Because now I've got to press four other buttons. X, <laughs> triangle, square, circle. Yeah. Plus the joystick to move around. And then R1 and R2. Bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I tapped out. <laughs> Shit is hard, isn't it? It is way too hard. Stop making these video games too realistic, bro. <laughs> It's scary, <laughs> bruv. Like, it takes... Do you know how much time you need to invest in video games to be good now? Yes. It's long, <laughs> bruv. It is a full-time sport. When people go, esports ain't real, you try it. Bro? Bro, you try it, yeah? Because I am stuck on level one going, what the fuck is going on, bruv? I'm trying to go, yeah, and the yeah. guy's dying, bruv. When people... My friends invited me, they were like, oh, let's play Warzone. I'm not on it. I'm not on it. I'm getting bullied in the online world. People are shooting me and shouting disrespect at me at the same time. I literally, I don't know what's going on, bruv. Like, I'm going there, like, I'm going in this thing, like, and it's like, first of all, also, takes way too long to load. <laughs> way too long to load, yeah? Back in the day, man, press the start, boom, go in there, yeah? Nowadays, yeah, I respect anyone that's good at games now, because, brother, this shit is hard. Man was there lost, bruv. I'm like, why am I, everyone should, and you know them people on Warzone and them games like COD and whatever, yeah. they are fast, bruv, yeah, right? Fast, you, bruv. You're just going, all right, like, how do I get this gun? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I feel like I've been shot in real life, bruv. The man hasn't let me breathe, right? My character's like, died. Right? <laughs> Dead. I used to like playing GTA by myself. They invented this whole online version of it. Now everybody is fucking robbing you, right? I'm not. I don't like being robbed in it. Yeah. I, like I do my best in life <laughs> not to get, get robbed. robbed. Yeah. Now I'm in the virtual world. Man, are coming at me with launchers, <laughs> rocket launchers, and <laughs> and like <laughs> smashing into me and all sorts. Yeah. And then they're like, "No, you can like do a heist together as people." Yeah. Bro, I don't have that many friends that are. You, you know that don't have like anything to do that we can all log on at 7 p.m. to fucking do a heist on GTA. <laughs> it's it's changed. I have friends with kids. It's, it's they're doing <laughs> bedtime stories to their children, right? Me ringing up my mates like, "Yo, bro, do you want to do a heist on GTA?" They're gonna be like, "Are you, bro? I have a family." <laughs> Do you know it's it's even got even deeper now? You know people talk about the metaverse and all that kind of stuff. Too. Yeah. So have you heard about the people that are on GTA that are living like they've made it so that you live a real life on there? So I've, can, can I just say, yeah? yeah, if you are buying real estate in a metaverse, yeah, yeah. I fucking hope your internet goes down. <laughs> if you have that much disposable income to be buying properties yeah. in a fucking make believe world, yeah. I hope I hope your internet goes down. Okay, in this world, right? I've 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 dipped my toe in, right? And I've played a little bit, yeah, but it was it was a bit too complex for me, right? But these people on GTA, like there's a very well-known radio presenter, yeah, that we that we that we both know. Oh, that, Dev. That, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that. That um is brought me into the game and was like when you're in the game, 
you talk to everyone who's online as well as if it's the real world. Like if you get caught not doing that, you get booted out. So I got introduced like, yo, this is my cousin. I don't know what I said. My name was like James or whatever. He's my cousin James or whatever. Da, 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 da. These men in this game were starting their own criminal empire. Yeah. They were selling drugs, hiding from police that were other real people in the real world that have the character of police officers. Real police were there, bruv. When I landed in the game, I, I was walking around and somebody pulled up on me. The police pulled up on me and said, you're new around here. What are you doing? I was like, oh, officer, I just landed. They're like, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, are you okay? So, 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 what, what color was your avatar? My avatar looked kind of like me. Looked kind of so like me. You're telling me yeah. you're still getting stopped to search yes. in the metaverse? Yes, bro. <laughs> Marcus was getting stopped to search in the metaverse. Bruv. When people. So hold on. They looked bro. at you, random mixed race avatar, bro. and they were like, what the fuck are you doing in these cyber streets, my yeah. guy? Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You're not. Bruv. You're not from around here. Bruh, How the fuck do you know I'm not from around here, bruv? <laughs> what? Mixed race people can't be in the in the in the in the metaverse. You... <laughs> Throw the whole internet in the bin, bruv. <laughs> How is my brother getting getting stopped and searched in the metaverse? When will this end? When will the racism end, bruv? Do you know How what? are you racist? And I was like, How are you racist when you've created an avatar, bruv? Your hair is purple. You have a fucking cyber suit on, right? And you're being racist and racially profiling in the metaverse. That is nuts, bruv. Throw the whole thing in a bin. I'm not on it, bruv. I hope everybody who participates in the metaverse, their internet goes down and they're never able to make another purchase again, bruv. <laughs> it's mad. It's mad. It's deep. And it's, um, yeah, just, bruv, it's like, but people are in there for hours. People getting record deals. They're rapping to audiences. They're performing. Bro, It's they treat it real life. There's people have online relationships. So they have a relationship in real life, but they will take their online let girlfriend me, for let dinner. Me tell you, let me tell you one thing, bro. Man. I, don't, I don't mean to shame anybody, yeah? Mm. But at the same time, we need to shame people again, bro. Yeah. If you're having relationships online and you're not meeting a person, there is something wrong. Do you reckon? A hundred percent, bro. A hundred percent, bro. You know when, like, living in London... Mm. Is already a long term, long distance relationship. Yeah, like just getting from west if to east, you, north to south. Like if you live in a big metropolitan city like yeah. New York, London, LA, yeah. whatever, if you have a relationship with somebody, say for example, you live in London, yeah. you live in South London, right? Yeah. And your, your significant other lives in North London, that is a long distance relationship, bruv. I don't care what anybody says, because if there are tube strikes, it is taking you an hour and a half to fucking see that person, right? That is a long distance relationship. Do you know what you can achieve in an hour and a half, bruv? That's a whole football That's match. That's 90 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> a man could have won the Champions the world, League. I was going to say the World the Cup. <laughs> the World Cup could have been decided in that time. Do you see what I'm saying, bruv? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? In that time it took you to see your significant other, shit, an hour and a half is long, you know? Bro. There is a lot, a lot of things. You could have finished a whole four chapters in an audio book. <laughs> Things um, that's yeah, that's a couple of podcasts. If someone does yeah. an hour and a half yeah. set yeah. at a festival, yeah, you're like fucking hell, I got my that's money's a good worth. Set. Yeah, an hour and, and a half, half. one not, way. If you, yeah, one, <laughs> one way. way. <laughs> God help you if you're traveling back. If you, people going, oh, I couldn't do a long distance relationship. You live in London. Yeah. Unless, um, listen, I understand why dating apps have three kilometers. Mm. Like, as in, like, you know, where it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah, what distance yeah, do you want? Yeah. Like, three kilometers. I get it. You can walk 3K. Yeah, yeah. Anything longer than that, it's a it's long good. distance relationship. Bro. And now when you're talking about there and back K as well, now it's not just hours. That's an eighth of my day. Now that's oh, a part my, of my day. An eighth of your day has, been, eighth spent of my day. has been spent traveling, right? <sighs> Think about it, Even without cars, yeah? How long would it take you to get from north to south London? Without cars, without a car, do it now. Google it on. Bruv, oh, Google, we know it's we know Google it's an hour it now, plus. Bruv. You know it's an hour and a half. Bruv, an plus. hour plus. It will probably yeah. take you five hours to walk from fucking. <laughs> no, to walk it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, bruv. Say for example, you, you you live in Greenwich. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You live in Greenwich, South London, right? Yeah. And your significant other lives in Finchley. Yeah. <sighs> different. It's a different. It's a different country. Forget it. <laughs> you could probably get from Manchester to Liverpool quicker. <laughs> It's 40 minutes. But you know... It's 40 minutes! Do you, do you know, I just realised, okay, you know who could have had a date 
chilled out and had some good time that met a couple would have had a date they'd have had some food together yeah but <laughs> yeah but they're not having real food bruv that's weird bruv what, uh, also you, you do that as well in there as no, well so you go to you mad. go to the shop no. and then you go like, I remember I went because someone went what? I went well how, how do we eat and they go you gotta press this muscle so okay yeah? okay. So, so let me tell you yeah I mean, what's it, like, no, no 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 I don't want to hear anymore I, 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 no, have to, no, no, I have to, no, no. Have to tell I don't want to hear anymore you have to, you have to hear this you have to hear this fictional menus for all the fictional food wait for it this is all make believe wait for it Kay this is hilarious no no Marcus honest to god Marcus I do not want to hear it no 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 no. my man said the tacos are nice listen <laughs> the tacos bro, see, this is this is. You see, it, I, bro, you I see, was like, yeah, all right, I'll try those. <laughs> but what I did, what no, I, no, where no, I will draw bro, the line, Kay, no, no, is no, I no, didn't no. go like this into the microphone. Marcus, <laughs> I do not want to hear it, bro, because because this is the kind of shit that you do with a three-year-old, right? <sighs> you know when you buy them like them little fake kitchens oh, yeah. and they're like, mm. oh, this is nice, whatever. Yeah. I am not doing that with a grown human. <laughs> That lives on the other side of the world going, oh my God, the tacos are nice. You fucking loser. <laughs> you absolute fucking loser, right? I'm and, with and, you, Meta Gang. And, Don't and, worry, I'm with and, you. And hold on, hold on. I know, there's, there, I know there's people that will say, no, there's a great people with people. Like, let's stop taking the like 1% yeah. and think I'm talking about the 1%. Because yes, it could be great for some people with accessibility issues, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. The majority of people using this are fucking losers. And we need to start fucking... Know, they, haven't loser. Seen sun, they haven't seen sunshine. They're sat in a I'm dark room with neon lights. I'm with you, gang. Behind them, bruv. No, you're not. The tacos are nice. He's not, bruv. You just got racially profiled <laughs> in a fucking metaverse and you're out here talking and about... And that is happy. why I'm campaigning for mayor in, the meta, in my part of the metaverse. <laughs> I want change. On that note, I'm out of here, bruv. It's been... Ain't got a clue... Fucking buy, but was it sign up, sign up to the Patreon? Yeah, get on that Patreon, man. Subscribe and 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 share it with people. All right, in a bit later.